Yo, it's Guido coming out you with the Tactics Talk. Hey, let's talk about scouting from the south spawn here on Highway. You can see I'm in my mana core. I have another mana core and an EBR to deal with. I'm going to go to my favorite spot, at least for initial scouting, from the south spawn. The field is where it's at with the scouts. There's a couple different options you can go with. I'll show you where I like to go. It's, it's a moderate risk, moderate reward position, but we're also going to see the enemy mana core make a bit of a mistake, and we'll talk about some of the stuff from the other side as well. The other option you can do with the scout is if you have an EBR, you'll notice what ours is doing, which is the right answer for an EBR, which is raging up into the edge of the ridge and trying to light guys crossing and maybe giving snipers or somebody shots. You'll see that we've got a Leopard back here, maybe you might get a shot. Some of these guys might come up on the middle of the road, although they're all pretty far over. It looks like maybe the JPZ might be setting up for a shot. And sometimes you can shoot somebody in the side over here or guys who will be a little uh, less judicious than they might be with exposure and get up here on this road and the EBR might see them. Now, I can't affect that. Where I'm going with my tank is I'm going to go to these bushes right here in front of me and I'm looking to catch the guys crossing. And the good news here is you can approach these bushes without being seen pretty much every time unless you're a relatively large light tank and maybe the mana core on the enemy team gets close. What you do have to watch out for this in this position is will the EBR come raging by? Because if he's come straight across, he may actually counter scout you here and cause you to have to turtle up and survive getting shot at. But guess what? Theirs is over in the town. So when you're moving into position with your light tanks, with your scouts, Pay attention to where their scouts are, try to think of where they might be, and then react accordingly. All right, great. The 105 is not going to do a drive-by, but the mana core might YOLO, so I do need to pay attention. I should be able to get into this bush without their mana core seeing me. Let's see how it goes. Be careful about sliding through bushes. I have done that before where I come in full speed, jam on the brakes, and slide through. So just something to watch out for and we catch this guy crossing. So what I'm gonna do is pull back to where I'm dark and we'll take a shot at him. Be careful with that. Sometimes when you're pulling back to get a shot, it'll go dark in front of you, but with a slightly different angle on the bushes off to one side, you might not be dark on that side and you might be seen, all right? Good news is their mana core was not down in these bushes. One of the best places for their mana core to go is this bush right here this bush right here, or this bush right here, or if you're a little less aggressive, one of these back here, or even potentially this one here. But that that's giving up a bit of view range. He's made a huge mistake, and he has gone ahead and raged through the field out in the open. Because I was able to come down here, get behind these bushes before he, he started crossing right there. I caught him moving, all right? And I have, at least I have the bushes. If he was maybe a little closer, maybe he does the YOLO EBR thing and kind of slides along here. He may have actually seen me with his CVS, assuming he has one, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he probably does. But I catch him out, and that is an absolutely massive advantage for us because now he's got to start trying to figure out how to live. Now, he was trying to be super aggressive. Is he actually trying to? He was. I have thought about this often, trying to get into this bush, great little place to be but th man that is just a tall order when you have another mana core or player in a scout that knows what they're doing i absolutely countered that guy and he is screwed so he's realized he's spotted out he goes we're going to try to back up and get unlit and i'm going to get a bit of rng slash dispersion helping me out although that was a low roll i'm just keeping him lit the reason i went forward is to get into the bush so i can keep him lit as long as possible and then we'll slide back as I start to get to the point where I'm reloading. And we'll try to put another shot on that guy. Holy cow, that worked. And just like that, massive advantage for the team. Counter scout, mana core dead. Amazing. And now their EBR is out dueling ours to some extent. The other part of why I like this particular spot is I can do this kind of thing. And I'm not really too worried about them seeing me right now. Those guys are outside of my draw range. And it is highly unlikely that they have a medium down here without me seeing them. So I really don't think I'm going to get lit. There's a small possibility of someone being in the edge right here, seeing me, one of the mediums potentially. But we'll take that chance because we've got such a great opportunity to start nuking this leopard. Down he goes. I'll take it. We'll back out. And that allows me, after I shoot, to back out and get behind this building. 
One nice thing about this building, and this building is destructible, by the way, is if you start get, seeing it get chewed up, shots coming into it, you know that they see you, right? And then your sixth sense will probably go off at some point. All right, so this dude is hanging out here. I'm reloading. All right, thinking about what my next move is. Massive advantage. We got their mana core out, and then their CS63 makes a runner. So fantastic. Should have taken the shot right there. He'll keep going, and he dies anyway. Fantastic. Centurion AX is trying to make it happen. He sticks his rear end out. We thump him once for a nice high roll at 406. And he's in a big, big he's in a bit of trouble, right? All he's got is that building, and he's got three tanks in front of him. All the, although I think they YOLO'd a guy in. There's actually two there, or is there one? Oh, there's one. All right, so he dies. All right, and so now I have a very permissive environment. We've killed three of their tanks. Three of them happen to be mediums. Those are their good spotters. Their EBR is still raging around somewhere, so I do need to keep an eye on that guy. There's a couple, there's actually only one other medium now. So I've got a great opportunity to sneak up underneath these guys. I'm going to come across the edge right here. And the reason I'm doing this, you'll notice my spotting ring is right along the edge. So I'm looking to burn through any of those big, heavy guys camping up there. And ideally, I find them before they see me and allow my team to get shots on them. So we'll kind of cruise along here. We'll go a little bit closer and swing back that way. Taking a look at what's going on. Oh, look at this. We found the Foch B. We'll just keep trucking. Going to get some nice spotting out of that. We'll keep on moving this way. He doesn't even see us. I come along here because I know that there's low ground there. Now, it's possible I got close enough he saw me, but it may be there's somebody else in one of these bushes. So let's see what we get. Oh, hey, guess what? The EBR is behind me, so that's what saw me. We'll swing around here, and now I'm just going to run for cover. I want to get up in this little nook. One thing about scouts is, especially when you're getting offensive or mobile, know these kinds of positions on the maps where you can get safe from multiple directions and think about what your next move is going to be. So I'm going to come into this little ditch. Thinking about popping up. We'll just take a little peek and back out. Nope, didn't see anything. Their EBR still running around. I probably should have paid attention to him a little bit more. Up here for the Minotaur. Find a couple of these fellers. They don't see me, thank goodness. Looks like the 5558 assumed I was in that bush. Yeah, I think he was actually shooting for that bush. Pretty funny. So he's thinking about it. We'll just shoot him once and we'll back out. That'll get me spotted. There we go. We're going to go ahead and use this low terrain. It's going to be very difficult for an Artie to hit me. At least especially from his angle. Not really sure where the HMC is, but it should be a relatively similar angle. The EBR goes running back there and we're already up to... 2,375 damage, 2,374 damage, 2,375 assist. I don't want to walk in to the Foshby and just let him gun me down, but it looks like he's made a runner. This dude apparently is AFK, so that did not help the enemy team. He eats a bunch of shots. My reload takes forever. Down goes that guy. Didn't get much assist out of that because multiple people saw it. I'm going to sneak in here and look for shots. I kind of prioritized the RD I shouldn't have. I think the EBR just gave up. He's just sitting there. Foch B. All right, so we're going to do the standard chuck a core, a shot and a ram at the end game here. Everyone's shooting this dude. Boom. Oh, not enough. <laughs> not quite enough. 3,410 damage, 2,424 assists, and two kills. And just an example of scouting from the south spawn on, where is this again? Where am I? Himmel's Highway Dwarf, using the middle of the map, cleaning that up, and then tucking up underneath their ridge down here, and how to spot their guys up on the hill. So there you go. Highway, south spawn, light tank tactics. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will see ya.